can you just kind of give me maybe like a an overview layman kind of uh you know idea of how a laser works well what you're doing in a laser uh is your uh it's called light amplification by the stimulated emission of radiation uh-huh. and what you're doing is you're taking some form of energy and exciting atoms or exciting electronically electrons in the atoms to a high energy state where they'll mm. emit light. And because you put them between a pair of mirrors and one of the, generally, at least one of the mirrors will reflect all the light and the other will reflect some of it. And it'll just, the light will start, it'll start emitting inside, light emitting, it'll go b- as bouncing back and forth between the mirrors and build up to be a beam you could see on the wall, a spot on the wall, or huh. more or more powerfully, you know, something, a big, bright beam that can burn a whole little hole through a, a sheet of foil or a piece of wood or eventually, you know, something more substantial. Mm-hmm. And that's, but the idea is you're concentrating that energy from, you know, some source, like from a chemical reaction or from pump light around it, like, you know, the flash lamp that Maiman used. Mm-hmm. To uh, uh, in, to make a beam, so you're concentrating energy from around you, in, in and a, a flash lamp has a big amount of energy, light, bright flash of energy. You concentrate it all spot. Maybe you could burn a little hole in things, mm-hmm. and that's that's the idea of a laser. Is you're taking it, you're concentrating the energy, and one of the tricks of doing this also is to store the energy for a while. So that you have, you know, you'll have the uh, light on for a while, and the light won't actually go out of the flat of the uh, laser that laser cavity you have until you switch open, turn it, let it, allow the light to get out. But let's say, and you know, you're, you're taking a piece of mir- the mirror and opening it up like that. Imagine that. Okay. So that's. You know, the I- idea of this, mm-hmm. uh, you can, the first lasers were very weak. You also can have lasers that just emit a steady beam, or you can have lasers that accumulate a lot of energy and fire, then fire a pulse out. Oh, so okay. That's what uh, interested, got to interest the military is, hey, we can, you know, just crank it up and then bang. So, yeah. Uh, Interesting. Okay kind of like a like a star wars laser gun type of thing huh yeah yeah and then and <laughs> there were the pentagon we talked to mayman uh and uh, he 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 was got a contract to start you know making lasers and experimenting with them and other people did and pretty soon there was a uh, a lot of hype about lasers and weapons and there was a uh, our, I think it was Parade Magazine had an article, The Incredible Laser, and um, that was really pretty far out on all yeah. these. So Art Shallow, who was uh, Charles Town, worked with Charles Towns, uh, put up a little sign, and he was, Shallow was a, a jokester uh, <laughs> and uh, playful, rather a playful scientist. So he put up at his door, uh, uh, a sign saying uh, he put the little there was put the copy of the uh, parade article about the incredible laser on his door and beside it put a little sign that said for credible lasers see inside <laughs> oh that's good no yeah. so that that was our challenge but by this point you know the pentagon was starting to throw serious money into this so there was um it was uh, General Curtis LeMay was talking about, uh, hey, this is a wonderful invention. Uh, and, you know, saying this is now the greatest thing since sliced bread or whatever. And, except it turns out if you cut, try to slice bread with a laser, you just get burnt toast. But that's another story. <laughs> oh, man. Wow. 
So this is cool. You can kind of see the evolution of it and how it happens. Um, so, but when they're kind of doing this in, in, well, I guess one question I had real quick was, does the word, does the word laser come from maser? It comes from light amplification of the stimulated emission of radiation.